In today's episode, we're gonna be doing some fish cooking. And a lot of my fans have been asking lately what I do with all the fish I catch and how we cook our catch. So we're gonna be doing a fish fry tonight. And we've got our good friends Mark and Kirsten over. And they're gonna be hanging out and we're gonna show you how we do our fish fry. Do you have a fire extinguisher you want me to hold? Uh, we don't have a fire extinguisher. We're gonna be using hot oil, but it might be a good idea. There's gonna be a couple of things we're doing today that I don't want you to do. All right, so we got, got a fish fryer. We just started doing this. This is my second time doing it. Uh, and we got this from a well-known tackle shop. You can get it online. And it's basically a basic system. It's a, it's a propane uh, barbecue. So we got this uh, pot. And I figured out that you put a gallon of oil in here. This is canola oil. You might want to use peanut oil. I think it's better for you. I haven't figured it out yet. We got this from Costco. So I'm going to dump this whole thing in here. And then we're done with this oil. You can strain it and use it over again uh, a number of times. Um, I didn't do that last time. We just let it sit out here for a week. And so I had to throw it out and I wasted a lot of oil. <laughs> but uh, I Googled it and they say you can strain it and use it like eight or ten times. So do that. Now I'm going to take this off here and start the, the gas. Now the main thing you don't want to do, and what I am doing, is you don't want to fry something with this porch uh, wood over you. Okay, so don't do that. All right, but we're doing it. All right. We got to turn the tank on, turn the valve on. I can hear it, and it's lit. All right. I'm going to put the oil on here. Comes with a thermometer. I'm going to put the thermometer in here. And this takes a long time to heat up. I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. And I think it's got to go to uh, around 325 degrees, but you can Google that too. That's for fish. You can Google, you know, different uh, temperatures for different fish. And, uh, now we're going to go inside and we're going to uh, batter the fish and we'll tell you about how to do that. So we've been getting a lot of good comments lately and one of the comments we've been getting a lot is about Brian and a lot of people like Brian, a lot of people don't like Brian, a lot of people think he's my dad. I even got a comment the other day that he's my grandpa, thanks for taking my grandpa fishing. Um, but that's not true, he's not my dad, he's not my grandpa, this is my boyfriend Brian. And he's with me on all my fishing trips. He videos me, he's my camera guy, he edits the videos. So all those great drone shots and everything that you see is done by Brian. Um, and he's my boyfriend. So he like, he's not my dad and he's not my grandpa. So I just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I just puppy. wanted to <laughs> briefly go over the comments that I received from all you guys in my last video, in my mutton snapper video where I caught that 13 pound mutton and I talked about my haters on camera and I just received a lot of positive response from you guys and I just want to say thank you and I appreciate it. It really feels good to know that I have so much backup and support from you guys and it makes me feel good, you know, it makes me realize like what I'm doing is actually, you know, something positive and you guys really enjoy my videos so I just want to say thank you for that and I didn't get any negative comments on that video so that's quite shocking um, because every other video I do and I have to constantly delete them. So thank you very much for the support. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And just keep commenting and let me know your thoughts and opinions and let me know what you want to see in upcoming videos. Um, so yeah, thank you again. Next step, I'm going to prepare the beer batter. And we're going to show you how to do it. It's super, super easy. And what I've got for my utensils and tools, I've got my beer batter here. And you can use any beer batter. This is just beer batter from my local supermarket. And um, they have all different kinds, so you could pick it out. You can check it out on Amazon, you know, online, and check out different kinds of beer batter. Um, but we just started doing this. This is my second time. So I just got, you know, regular beer batter here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got my beer, and I've got my measuring cup, and I've got my bowl for the beer batter. And so basically I'm just following the instructions on the back. And I'm going to open up the beer batter and pour it into my bowl here, the whole entire thing. And I think this is enough beer batter for a pound and a half of fish, it says. So we'll see. So now I've got my beer batter in the bowl, and the next tool that you need 
is my measuring cup and you need to use either beer or water both work just fine I'm going to be using some beer and I it told me on the instructions I need to use two-thirds of a cup so I'm gonna pour two-thirds in here and then literally just pour the beer right into the batter and I'm just gonna mix it those are the only two ingredients you need so that's super super easy really quick and basically it says on the instructions to just stir until it gets smooth and um, all the batter is coated with liquid this is why I fish and don't focus on cooking videos because I actually ended up messing this up a little bit after just reading the instructions um, it should be smooth already and what I did was I used the whole entire thing of beer batter and uh, it says to only use a cup of the batter mix so I messed up um, but I'm going to continue using the full amount that I have here I just have to add some more beer to it and I think I need to add a what I need to add <laughs> a, a half quarter, a cup. about a half a cup a quarter and a half so half more Put about a half more in see the last time I did this was my which was my first time I used the whole entire amount of beer batter and I didn't have this issue so it looks like they gave me a little extra beer batter and screwed up screwed up what I did so this should work now it's it's like making cement for you guys you just gotta add some more water to the cement until you get it the right consistency and if you get it too too liquidy then you add some more cement so it's the same thing yeah so now it looks pretty good actually yeah not smooth yet but it's getting there you gotta get the lumps out but again this is <laughs> this is a fishing show <laughs> I might be laughing again too much. Not a cooking show. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go over to the fish. All right, so I got this fish. <laughs> this is all we caught yesterday at the tournament. Uh, that's Monday's video. And uh, we, we caught some snappies. We, caught a, uh, we got a porgy here. We got a toro here, which Darcy, <laughs> which is a toro. That's a big red eye snapper. Uh, we call a squirrel fish by accident. Once you, <laughs> a bunch of guys get all over our case. Anyway, it's a toro. And, uh, and we got some kingfish. I don't like kingfish that much. It's good if you smoke it. We're not big fans of it, but we got some kingfish here. We're going to cut up in chunks and we're going to fry it. It's going to have to be delicious that way. So we're tasting fried kingfish, porgy, and toro. And looks like that. And I'm going to cut up that kingfish and we'll be all set. So this is the kingfish, this dark one. It looks like you might not want to eat it. I'm going to cut up with some chunks. And maybe this one too. And these white ones are the porgy and the toro. You want to get the yep, we want to get this red vein out. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Someone asked why you um, bleed the tuna, and it's really get some of this red out. And kingfish and kingfish, and maybe we'll fry these separately so we know. Make this into a chunk. So get the red out. Darcy's very picky. On the fish, we'll put the delicious guy get this little red out. I'm just gonna make these all chunks. These plates are too small. Not a ton of fish here. Here we go. I'm gonna separate them. I'm gonna white fish for my kingfish and. Uh, this was the consistency I was looking for, not that chunky uh, mess before. This is nice and smooth, and the beer batter is ready to be dipped and to, to dip the fish into. So we're going to go ahead and fry some fish. All right, so we came out here to put our fish in, and I'm looking at I look at the gauge, and it's a little high. The recipe says 375. I think 350 might be better. Uh, so I got to turn this thing down. You got to be careful not to turn it off. because Then you got to relight it. And if you, relight, if you want to relight it, you got to take this hot, uh, hot pan of oil off. And, uh, and just a pain in the butt. You gotta, I got the gloves out here. But uh, just try not to turn it down too low so it turns off. This uh, small system doesn't have the greatest uh, temperature control. But it works. All right, everybody. While well, that oil is... Uh Cooling down, I want to I want to just mention the uh, tournament we we're in yesterday. That's yesterday's video. Uh, if you saw the video, it's uh, the link for it's right here, right up here. 
uh, and we didn't do, we didn't do that great. But um, I just wanted to thank Salt Life Optics. They uh, sponsored uh, con Team Control Chaos, which includes uh, Dar Sizzle here, and uh, so we really appreciate that. You know, we wear Salt Life Optics. The whole team does, and, and they're really great. You guys check them out um, online or, or at a dealer or anywhere you can get them. Uh, but as for, as for the for the results of the tournament, this is the Tuppence Lake Worth Fishing Tournament. Uh, it's the ninth annual. You know, it's a great event. Uh, you know, the kingfish we had like a seven pound kingfish, which we knew wasn't going to place. But uh, the winning king, kingfish was only twenty two point nine pounds by a boat called Tramp. You know, congratulations. Um, but you know, honestly, in most tournaments around here during the summer, you know, you're gonna need forty pounds uh, to get in that first place, and most of them are gonna be in the thirty. So you know, it was a slow day for everybody. Oh, our friends over at Spice Drum came in third in that category. Uh, congratulations to those guys uh, as well. Uh, the dolphin category, you know, the, the first place dolphin was a big dolphin for Ryan, 38 pounds. Uh, congratulations. The rest of them were, were under 20 pounds, you know, so again, not a great day of fishing. Wahoo, uh, Team Dave's got a 50 pound Wahoo. That's a good size over here for uh, Florida East Coast. Uh, that's a big one for around here. Uh, the Bahamas, they get them that size all the time. Over here, you know, we get a lot, of, a lot in the 30, so that, that's awesome. And the second place Wahoo was 22.6, but there's no other Wahoos, so only two Wahoos out of all the boats. Uh, the snapper category, we could have got, we could have, looks like we could have came in fourth place <laughs> with our 2.5 pound snapper. Um, we were about uh, 17 miles away from the weigh-in. Uh, the fourth place snapper was a $25 uh, prize. win prize. It would have cost us about $100 in gas to get there. Uh, so um, we didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't do that. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know, uh, we'll see what you guys think about that. Maybe we should have, maybe we shouldn't have, um, but we didn't. If you guys have any comments about that, please uh, <laughs> feel free to comment in the comment section. Uh, otherwise, it was a great day. You know, we, again, any day fishing, uh, we all should be blessed to be out there. Uh, attitude of gratitude. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get them next time. Right, Sizzle? Yeah. And I'm um, sorry that the video wasn't too exciting yet in yesterday's video. Check that out. Um, but, you know, I try to be upbeat and positive, and I get really competitive when I go fishing. So if we're not catching fish, I, I do really, like, get depressed, and I'm just, like, a little bit on the negative side and feeling like blah. So I'm sorry if I got that vibe in yesterday's video, uh, but I'm very competitive. So when we're catching fish, I'm super stoked. I act like a little kid. I go crazy when we're catching fish. But when the bite's slow and the time is dragging, you know, it's just hard for me to stay upbeat. And, you know, we're just trying to fish and catch a fish. And yesterday was just one of those very, very slow days of fishing where it's super hot and you're just getting no bites out there and you have live bait just swimming around no problem and nothing is biting them. So that just tells you, you know, <laughs> the fish are just not biting. Um, but yeah, I'm competitive, so um, you know, hopefully in the future, you know, I'll show you a little bit more of like all the different sides of me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're, I'm gonna get back and check that oil, get the fish in. I did want to mention, I'm just looking at the stats on my phone here. Um, wanted to give a big congratulations to Caden and Team Lori Joe. We love Team Lori Joe. They're awesome. They catch a ton of fish. They're always on the scoreboard. Uh, great local yeah. team. And uh, our buddy, our little buddy Caden and the junior anglers got a 7.5 pound dolphin. And with Lori Joe. You rock, Caden. Yeah, Caden's awesome. And they, you know, these guys, uh, Chris Ross and all, they're out there fishing all the time and bringing the kids out and, and just killing it. So congratulations, guys. I uh, love you guys. And um, let's check that fish or check the oil for the fish. All right, so that's about 350, 375. Um, I like it. We're going to put the fish in. Pretty sure the oil is now hot enough, and we I'm gonna go ahead and dip the fish and then put it in the hot oil. And um, it's pretty simple. I've got my beer batter here, I've got my kingfish here. Yep, this is kingfish. And I'm just gonna take it with my actual fingers and dip it into the beer batter. Brian just put the rack in there and cover the whole entire piece of kingfish. And basically, once I've got it covered like this. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in. And I'm going to drop it in low. You want to make sure that you drop it low so that way it doesn't splatter the oil everywhere. So I just dropped it like, you know, two feet, two inches from the actual oil. And then I'm just going to finish the rest of the fish here. So we got all the fish in and you basically want to keep an eye on it while it's frying. The pieces get um, brown super fast and it cooks really fast. So you just want to keep an eye on it and as soon as you see it turn golden brown you want to go ahead and take the fish out.
Okay, so Brian's taking out some of the pieces that are ready to be taken out, and you can see how golden brown they are. And notice how we have this set up here. We learned a great tip online when I was researching about fish frying. But basically, anything that you're frying, whether it's fish or bacon, anything, and you take it off the fryer, you don't want to put it on a paper towel and let it seep. Um, because basically it just sits in its own gunk and it becomes mushy and it doesn't become that crispy taste that you get when it's fried. So basically what we learned online is you use a rack like this we have. We have our own rack. You can buy ones online that are specifically made for this. And then we've got our cookie cutter underneath, a, co a cookie cutter sheet. And then we've also got aluminum foil. So you stick the fish right on top of this rack and believe it or not, the fish stays super crispy. It doesn't lose that crispy taste to it and it's delicious you know, right out, right out of the deep fryer or even a couple hours later. It still has that same consistency of fried fish. It's delicious. So try it out at your house and see how it works for you guys. Trust me, it's ten times better than paper towels. While you were gone, <laughs> we fried the rest of the fish. And now I'm going to a tape attempt to strain this oil so that we can use it again, like we talked about before. This may result in serious burns. So I have my gloves on. Take this thing out. It's very hot. I turned off this burner with the propane tank and this this. I'm gonna dump this oil through that thing right there, hopefully not burn everybody in town. Here we go, nice and slow. Can you see that? All right, hold on. I can already tell you that these type of gloves are not sufficient oh <laughs> heat God. absorbers. My hands are very hot. All right. Otherwise, that worked very well. Pot clean. Got the debris on here. We got some nice clean oil here we're going to use again. We're going to let that cool down. But uh, there we go. We did it. And now we're going to taste it. Eating our fried fish for dinner, and it's absolutely delicious. Even the kingfish turned out great. You know, you can't go wrong with kingfish deep fried. So that's a plus. The fish is amazing. You got to try it out yourselves um, and see what you think. And you can actually use some sauce with it if you prefer. Brian likes to use this sauce that's called roasted pineapple and habanero sauce that we got from Costco. Um, but you can use any type of sauce, anything that floats your boat. You can even use ketchup if you want. Just, you know, give it a little bit of flavor. But you can have it by itself. I'm eating it by itself, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, and just so you know, we're going to be doing a lot more videos. We're thinking about doing vlogging videos for five days a week. Um, so that way we can bring more content to you guys on a regular basis. And, you know, all, a lot of these upcoming videos, we're not going to be doing so much fishing all the time uh, because we do do other stuff during the day. So it's going to be more more of like a daily vlog and just find out you know what we do on a daily basis and you know hopefully entertain you guys um, so if you have any thoughts or ideas or anything you think that you need to share with me about upcoming videos or you think it might be a great idea you know feel free to share that with us in the comments and below um, and then if you like this video be sure to like the video and if you do like my videos and you want to help support me you can check me out on patreon.com and you can click the link below and the description to find out more but basically you'll just be helping fulfill my dreams as you know fishing full-time um, so check that out and until the next episode follow your dream and keep on catching